You're out in the backyard and you notice that those hungry birds, or maybe those hungry squirrels, have eaten all the bird seed. Time for a fill up. So you head to the garage to find some more seed and you go to pick up the bag and it spills. You take a look at the bag more closely and it looks like there's a small hole that's been chewed through there. Then you notice something around the bag that almost looks like little tiny grains of black rice. Probably not. It's probably from a mouse. I'm Janice Cronetti. I've been teaching animal science for about 20 years, and I'm here to answer the question, what do mouse feces look like? Well, that's the best description I can give you. They are about the size of a grain of rice, and they're pretty small, just like that, and they're also black. A lot of times I'll also notice sort of a musty smell that's associated with the mouse feces, and certainly if the mice are nesting nearby, you'll get a pretty strong odor. If somebody has mouse feces, they're usually looking to try to get rid of the mouse, but they certainly want to know that it's mice that they're dealing with if they're going to know how to proceed. So how can you tell the difference between mouse feces and some other pests that might be there? Believe it or not, some people actually confuse cockroach droppings with mice droppings. Pretty scary, I know, but it's true. Cockroach droppings, if it's a large cockroach, can actually be visible. They look, though, like, more like uh, little droplets or little grains of dark sand. Mouse species, like I said, are going to be about the size of a grain of rice. Now, if you're dealing with rat droppings, and some people wonder how you can tell the difference between a mouse and a rat, your rat droppings are going to be much larger because rats are much larger, more like the size of a grain of puff rice or some cereal like that that you would buy in the store. You'll definitely be able to tell the difference between the rat and the mouse. Well, once you know that you've got mice, then there's a whole series of steps that you need to go through, plugging up holes in your house to the outside, covering up any food, and looking for any nests if you want to actually get rid of them. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is What Do Mouse Feces Look Like?